surprised by the result from the Republican? Uh, no, I'm not. Obviously, they have strong views, uh, both sides, but they've been able to get to a, to a juncture uh, where, in principle, uh, they cannot support the proposal that's been put forward by the, by the government. The Nationals got to that a lot earlier because the proposal, even in, even in the co-design voice uh, document, actually had a representative model. We've had that model before. And it's failed, and we live with those consequences. So, um, the fact that it took longer for the Liberal Party to get there is something that we respect. They have the sovereignty of their own party, as they respected our decision as a national party to get to our to our position off lived experience, the lived experience of representing those remote communities where the disadvantage is. So, what's next? Well, look, I think the ball's in the Prime Minister's court. The Prime Minister has every opportunity to sit down with the opposition leader now, with respect of if he wanted to change the question about whether uh, constitutional recognition be put in the preamble. A set of words that acknowledges that Indigenous Australians were here first, that we as a nation made some mistakes on our journey, that we are better having been together and we will be better sticking together, then I sense my party room would support that. Uh, I believe quite clearly uh, that the Prime Minister wants to intertwine a mechanism that is about closing the gap into constitutional recognition. And unfortunately, because of the lived experience we have, the Nationals can't support that, that proposal. If the Prime Minister wanted to be constructive, he'd sit down and rework this. Uh, and that's, the, that's now in his court. That's an opportunity for the Prime Minister to show the leadership, to bring the country together. But when you've got uh, three political parties, uh, basically with different views, uh, it's now important for the Prime Minister to reflect, to understand and about his opportunity to lead this country in a direction that brings us together not divides us. So the Nationals would support a preamble to the Constitution? Well, that's something I'd take to the party room, but I sense from my party room's position, from the discussion we had, that quite pragmatically, that's a statement of fact. Indigenous Australians were here first. We made mistakes, uh, but we are better having been together and we will be better sticking together. Uh, and I sense if that proposal was put to our party room, I sense that my party room would overwhelmingly support that. But in putting in place another layer of bureaucracy, uh, in adding another to the over 1,000 Indigenous representative bodies now, it is not a principle that, that my party room could accept and one that we made very clear from the start. Peter Dunham would also want a local kind of regional rural voice. Is that something you'd also support? Well, we'd want to see the details of that. We're against another layer of bureaucracy. There's over 1,000 Indigenous representative bodies already. Uh, we'd have to understand the mechanics and how that would work before the National Party would give any support to that. My party room would have to study any proposal with great detail. Uh, we understand the intent, as all have come to this with great intent. But the ones that have lived experience on this is the Nationals, because we represent the rural and remote communities where the disadvantage is. And the solution lies within. The solution lies within a bureaucracy that's taken out of Canberra and sits around the halls, that sits around the campfires with the local council and local elders in each town, each elder in each town devising their own program, not one that's across a region or across an area. This is purely a, a very personal issue for each of these communities that they have to face up to. And that can only be faced up to by the local community themselves. They have to devise that solution themselves, because if they don't devise it, the community doesn't have buy-in. And that's what we're saying is that we are reinventing the wheel every time with the same mistakes of the past. This is an opportunity just to make our bureaucracy work better, not be bigger.